Hello, Fly Time friends. How's everybody doing today? Thanks for tuning in to this Fly Time Tuesday with Avid Max. My name is Brady Lair, and we're going to tie Scott's Damsel Bugger today. If you like fish in still water, this is a bug that you will want in your box. So I'm tying this today on a TMCO 2302. It's a nice long shanked hook. It's a 2X long hook with a down eye on it. Uh, it's got a slightly humped shank to it there, giving a little bit of curvature, which I always appreciate in my nymph hooks. We're gonna start out today with a glass bead, just a tires glass bead, a red one here. This one's silver lined. You could do the flat red if you prefer it. That's what I have handy here. Fits the bill nicely. And then the next thing we're going to tie in will be our tail. Starting out with our thread, the Tenot Vivas here in olive. A go-to thread for me. Vivas tends to be a more ropey thread, but the Tenot I find is a little bit better at laying flat than some of the other Ots are. 16 knot, for example, is very ropey, isn't gonna unravel real well. But 10 knot and 14 knot tend to be a little bit more forgiving. You can actually unwrap them if you need to. So like I said, gonna tie in the tail next. I'm using some marabou for the tail. That's what this recipe calls for. And on that pattern that you saw up front was the tip of the tail, but I'm gonna do it a little bit differently. I think this is more true to how the pattern is tied. We're gonna use some of these feathers that are lower down. And I'm just going to take a small bundle of those, kind of group them together to figure out how much I want in total. Just sort of get an idea of it here and position them like that. That's going to be perfect. So we'll just rip them off of the stem there, sort of find our length, just matching to the length of the hook shank here. And then we can transfer that measurement right to the back and secure it down with some click locking wraps there. And then we'll go over the top of all of this messy material and clean it up a little bit with our thread. Not too worried about it overall. We'll come back through anyhow. So that gives you a nice wispy tail to this bugger. You could always thin it out a little bit if you need to, but that's just about right there. Next material we're gonna add in is some Crystal Flash. This is the Root Beer Color Crystal Flash. I'm gonna take one strand, just like so. Position it right on the side of the hook here. A Couple of wraps securing that down. Might make it a little bit longer than the tail. And then we can come back over the top and secure the other side in place as well. And we'll walk back and keep those locked in on either side of that tail there. Just a little bit longer there. So right on either side, maybe trim them to more of an even length. And then we can come in and we're gonna add in our hackle next. So we're gonna have some, this is just a half cape that I have of some Grizzly Olive. We'll find a nice gauge for this size hook here. Hackle gauges are a good tool to have at the bench. I don't have one with me right now. We're just gonna utilize the hook itself. That gives us a nice feather to tie. And because I'm not gonna do any wire ribbing on this pattern, I'm gonna tie it in straight on at the tail end. So I'm just gonna take, or the tip end rather. So take that, capture it off, and walk on forward on it, just capturing it and locking it down, smoothing out the body once more. And then we're gonna come through and actually build our underbody now. For that, I'm using some ice dub. This is the olive brown color. You can also use that light olive that I have next to it. Both of those options are really solid for the natural imitation of a damsel nymph. So 
This is a good summertime fly to have in your arsenal. Like I said, if you do fish still water in the month of July, tends to be a lot of the damsel activity that we see here in Colorado as things really start to warm up. Water temperatures warm just a little bit. You'll see some damsels start to move around, start to hatch. So a nice tight dubbing noodle using some dubbing wax to help out with the ice dub there. And then we're just gonna wrap, touching wraps, all the way forward. And just a little more dubbing here. And we'll leave ourselves a little bit of room on the front end to finish things off. Work on that taper of the body here just a bit. Pretty slender overall, especially if you're considering this as a bugger, it's a very slender bugger. And downsized as well. We're tying this on a size 10 today. Just my go-to size for these damsels, especially when you're using these longer shank hooks, that is. I'm adding just a small bit more dubbing here. And again, we'll leave ourselves a bit of a collar area to finish everything off there. So now that we have our body dubbed, we're just gonna go ahead and bring our hackle forward and fairly open wraps on this as you go. This isn't like tying a dry fly, dubbing, dry fly hackle necessarily, uh, more like a bugger hackle obviously for this bugger nymph. Nice open palmered wraps, right on forward, capture it behind, couple in front, and then we can clip out that extra material there and come right back in. And we're just gonna add in a little bit of dubbing to finish the bad boy off. And this is just the good old ice dub in Peacock. So a little bit of a darker color, somewhat of a contrasting color make a little bit of a collar here sort of push some of that hackle backward and then all you got to do is come up beneath up underneath and give this fly a nice whip finish so i do really enjoy sitting down at the vise and tying complicated flies but when it comes time to fill a fly box for a trip that i'm heading on i'm looking for some simple and effective flies and this Scott's Damsel Bugger fits that bill really nicely. So highly recommend this fly if you're fishing still water. Get it down to where those fish are suspended and you will have a wonderful day catching fish uh, that are eating damsel nymphs. So thanks so much for watching. Check out the description below to find all of the materials that were used today. Uh, links to the other fly tying videos we have and make sure to check out avidmax.com for all your tying and fly fishing needs. Thanks so much for watching. Enjoy it.